Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how I went from a graphic designer to photographer. Uh, my name is Isaiah Jacoby, also known as IJ Yoyo, -Yo. and uh, go check out some of my other videos like uh, how I started photography and uh, how I bought, bought my first camera at 15 years old. But other than that, let's get right into it. So most of this stuff is kind of like history for me. So the first time that I was in like a design kind of-ish art um, software thing is KidPix in elementary school. So KidPix is a paint program designed especially for kids. It's like this thing where you can just like draw and stuff and you know the teachers let you have use it uh, every once in, in a while to relax or whatever. But uh, I, that's probably the first time. So, so I didn't. So I was a gamer for a little bit. Uh, I didn't game that much, but I would claim myself a gamer uh, just because that was the community that I was in. And I, I played a few games. You know, I played the Minecraft. I, I played the Rust. I played the uh, CS:GO, all PC games, uh, and. Uh, Minecraft brought me to Skype and uh, through multiple different communities. So Skype basically allowed me to meet a bunch of other people in the gaming community. And what I noticed from a lot of people, I, I think I was also doing YouTube at that time too. I was trying some YouTube stuff, YouTube gaming, but I didn't have the right equipment for it yet. Um, but. Uh, even before I started Skype, you know, you kind of just get involved with Skype when you go into gaming. I would, like, back in the day, back in, uh, like, 2010, 2012. Uh, but I remember Captain, if you guys know, Captain Sparkles is a Minecraft YouTuber. And, uh, he, he, uh, he did quite a few videos, music videos. He's got a pretty big... Uh, music video on uh, Dynamite in Minecraft, so that's uh, that was kind of where I first was like interested in making uh, animations and uh, using this program named Blender. Uh, Blender is a 3D modeling, 3D 3D animations program, and uh, I started working with that. had had made uh, made a few renders in that, you know, cool Minecraft renders and stuff. Um, and and when I started using Blender, uh, I also started making wanting to make my own thumbnails too for them. So I think I don't think I was using. So I used GIMP. I used GIMP in the beginning, uh, which is another photo software, kind of like Photoshop, to create my thumbnails for my YouTube. And I would also import the. Uh, the renders, the Minecraft renders from Blender into uh, my thumbnails. Now, Captain Sparkle's videos were music videos, they were fully rendered. Uh, I believe they used either Cinema 4D or uh, I can't think of the other one, but there was, there was a really good animator that worked on them and um, it was just, they, um, they really inspired me to do something like that, but of course I didn't have the uh, camera. Uh, it was great because once I started making these thumbnails and making these renders, uh, other people on this uh, Google Plus community also wanted renders, and that was pretty popular to uh, make renders for somebody else, and that was fun. That was uh, you would just get a skin, uh, which is basically like the uh, well, the skin, yeah, basically the skin, like GTA or something, and. Um, which goes over your avatar and people just uh, really liked uh, renders so I started rendering for friends and people that I met and stuff people that wanted them and people would just think they'd be so cool um, so basically at that time I was working for free for uh, free promo or whatever you want to call it um, just creating thumbnails creating things for different people and uh, it eventually kind of came into became into a business but uh, I started working with some Minecraft YouTubers uh, some people from Twitter I have no idea how I got on Twitter from there but I got on Twitter and um, 
a lot of people wanted rendering and stuff. Um, and I eventually changed because I didn't. Uh, I didn't necessarily. Eventually, I didn't start liking rendering that much because there was so much to it that I couldn't uh, do with my computer and uh, the abilities that I needed, like the amount of uh, like softbox kits, uh, how much I needed to learn, and I had a difficult time actually learning uh, the 3D animation stuff, um, like creating my own stuff. Uh, I could render perfectly, I got the lighting down, but there were just a few things that it wasn't that exciting and it basically blew up my computer each time I tried using it. Um, so I, so, so I kind of stopped rendering, but from there I did more YouTube thumbnails, uh, just plain like GIMP thumbnails, and then I eventually got Photoshop. Um, I think I got a free trial or I accidentally may have turreted it because um, I'm a bad pirate. I don't do that anymore, but I was a bad pirate. And you know, I, I didn't really make any money off that, to be honest. Um, I worked on a few YouTubers, headers, websites and stuff, and it was basically just experience, I would say. Uh, and then I started getting interested also in logo design. And uh, if you're on Be Behance, there's a lot of illustrators and uh, photo editors on there and absolutely creative, so creative, they're so creative on there. Um, and I wanted to do something like that, so it was just like, wow, like I started using Illustrator, uh, making flat designs, I, I did a whole whole thing on flat designs, uh, I think that was later down the road, but um, I did a lot of graphic design in Photoshop for the longest time, I got super good at Photoshop, I would just, um, I'd find fun things to do on Photoshop, like photo manipulations, and that was just the funnest thing for me. Um, and then I would do the same thing with some of my friends' images, images, and it would just be it'd be fun because I would know how uh, how things worked and kind of just Photoshop things in. And uh, I did I dabbed into a bunch of different things. That's actually where I met most of my. Uh, United Kingdom or Britain friends uh, was from graphic design work. Uh, so I dabbled into t-shirt designs, some mock-ups. Uh, at, at the same time, uh, the gaming community, everybody wanted videos, everybody wanted to create videos, so it was just like, it was super big for making, uh, making thumbnails, making overlays, Twitch overlays. Uh, I was pr pretty familiar with Twitch at that time too. I used OBS, Open Broadcast Service. I streamed a little bit, did a little bit of screen recording for my gaming and stuff. And um, you know, I met so many people in the gaming community. A um, bunch of Call of Duty fans, uh, just amazing. Like I even Minecraft, Minecraft to CS:GO, uh, to Call of Duty to GTA. Um, all the big, all the big, super big um, games at that time, I just did graphic design work uh, for thumbnails and stuff. And that's basically how I came from a gamer to a graphic designer. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to make another video on how I became a graphic designer to a photographer and uh, where I am now. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it should be up already, so go, it should be up there somewhere on the cards and um, in the description. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram, check out my photos, and uh, yeah, have a nice day. See you guys later.